Only on Fox, at this time of year, we hear how important hand washing is to prevent the spread of the cold and flu. Tonight, you'll learn how hand washing could prevent a scary brain condition. A valley mother of four is told that she has a brain tumor, but when doctors go in to remove it, they find something else, something living inside her brain. Rosemary Alvarez savors every minute with her kids. That was a good throw. Playing ball and laughing. <laughs> For this mom, each day with them is a gift after coming too close to death last August. I thought I had the flu. I started feeling tired. But within days, this soccer coach and PTA president knew it wasn't the flu. I started feeling numbness in my, my left arm, blurred vision. I'm still smiling for my kids, but now I can't get out of bed. Two trips to the ER solved nothing. CAT scan came back normal, no problem. But her husband, George, was scared. She couldn't eat. She could barely walk to the bathroom. So I knew at that point. You know, she was de deteriorating really quick. It all came to a head on the first day of school as their kids aged 9 through 17 headed back to the classroom. Their mom was in an ambulance headed to Barrow Neurological Hospital after an MRI explained those strange symptoms. It came back. You have a brain tumor. At that exact moment where my heart fell just completely all the way down. But the news would get worse. Neurosurgeon Dr. Peter Nakaji. Once we saw the MRI, we realized this is not good. It's something down in her brain stem, which is as deep into the, the brain as you can be. George broke the news to the kids. Uh, it was a rough day because it was the first day of school and they came home with all their stuff from school and all the stuff to sign and look what I got from my teacher and where's mom and what's mom. Well, Mom's in the hospital, and this is what happened. As Rosemary waited for surgery, she worried. Oh my God, we just canceled our insurance like three weeks ago, and now this happens. And m mostly, where, how are we going to pay for this? What's and she prayed. Says, okay, God, if you're going to take me, take me, but make sure my kids are good. By the time the surgery got underway, all those PTA moms and neighbors, her kids, they were all praying too. My girlfriend. She goes, everybody's calling and saying they're praying for you, they're praying for you. Church, they're going to church and they're having the mass pray for you. And pray. Power of prayer. That's what I told them. Power of prayer. It worked. Dr. Nakaji was expecting to find a brain tumor. He showed me the video as he operated on Rosemary's brain, carefully working, knowing this is the most dangerous spot in the human body to work next to, the brain stem. Here's the lump and at this point it still looks like a, a brain tumor and so we're just opening up uh, into the inside of them and then the unexpected no tumor instead a worm watch as dr. Nakaji grabs the worm and gently tugs it out of Rosemary's brain it's still alive you don't hear him on the tape but Nakaji actually chuckles uh, which I'm sure is a very strange response for the people in the operating room but because uh, I was so pleased to know that it wasn't going to be something terrible. This worm comes from eating undercooked pork, but more frighteningly, it can be spread by people who have the parasite in their bodies and don't wash their hands well after using the bathroom. That is the problem. And it only takes one person who, um, you know, is spreading it constantly to get a lot of people exposed, and some of those people are going to go on to develop this problem. It's impossible to pinpoint exactly when Rosemary contracted this brain worm. Probably she was one of these very unfortunate people uh, who had somebody handle food for her uh, that she ingested it and uh, it, it got to her brain. What is normally a rare occurrence has become much more common. Dr. Nakaji has removed five of them in the past few months and other doctors at Barrow, they're seeing more of them too. I think it could be a fluke but it does concern me that if we see more and more cases, uh, as one person is infected and starts to spread these, it spreads it to other people who become infected and then they spread it so that uh, more people are at least at risk. Meantime, George and Rosemary are stunned, relieved, and a bit creeped out by it all. It could have ate holes in her brain like an apple. This whole part of my head, from here to here, it's, it's numb. I, I just learned to live with it. Rosemary shows off the scars. I had to learn to walk, to balance. But Rosemary says the most important thing she learned is how to really live. I was so busy in life with everything else and 
sometimes telling my kid, okay, I'll be right there, I'll be right there, or, or hold on, and, and no, I can't right now, or no, I'm, I'm coming, I'll be right there. I'm not going to miss a, a moment that we, tell me what's on your mind. It strengthened us again because we almost, we almost lost everything. Everything fell apart. When she was gone, everything fell apart, and my kids saw how important their mother was in the house because even they were you know, starting to take mom for granted and pulled her out of the whole system and everything just crumbled. They hope everyone learned something from this story so no one else has to go through what Rosemary did. And wash your hands. Yeah, that's a pretty simple one. That is how you can prevent this. First of all, don't eat raw or undercooked pork. Wash your hands with soap and water after using the bathroom every time, and especially before handling food. And when you travel to developing countries, be careful to eat in sanitary restaurants.